uh, mention page. Hi, Kathy Sipple again with CoThrive Coworking. It's March 20th, and a question from CoThrive member Deborah Landry came in. How do you put social media icons in your email signature? One caveat, you do need to have HTML uh, email capabilities to do what I'm going to show you. Gmail is free, and it does have that, so that's one reason I like to use Gmail. Um, some other ones may not have it, so your interface may be a little bit different. But this is what interested Deb, and this is what I'm going to quickly show you how to do. And this is how to do it on Gmail. Results may vary depending on your program. So the first step is to go ahead and get into your email account. I'm in Gmail here. You go into, click on the little gear up in the upper right hand corner, click settings, and it takes you to a place where you can um, list all of the different accounts that you, you have, and I, I do have several. Uh, you can actually have different uh, signatures for each email account that you have also, which is kind of nice. So um, I do happen to have different hats that I wear as a consultant, and this is kind of a nice thing. Right now I'll just show you my main one for my business. What you do is to scroll on down to where it says signature, and you choose the correct email that you're building, building the uh, signature for. You can put in your you know, response, best regards, or whatever you like the information here, whatever you like. And then these I had found in advance. Um, you can Google social media icon set and choose one that works for you. You might already have a set that is um, you know, on your website, but if you need some help, there are tons of free ones out there and there are some custom things that you can build as well. So the first thing you'll need to do is get, get the download, you know, get the set that you'd like, if you want this one, this one looks, I think, fine. Um, you would click on this, you would do download, and then from there, you would go back into your email, and you would simply put your cursor where you want to upload that graphic. Uh, it's a little sticky if you've already got graphics there. Sometimes they use the cursor to get in place. You click on the little, uh, I think it's a picture of mountains, it stands for insert image. You click insert image, and then you would choose from wherever you've downloaded your, um, your images. So you do select file from your computer. I'm not going to add something right now, but let's just say that those social icons were in this, uh, this folder here. I would choose that, click open, and then it would show up right here. You don't want to stop there. What you want to do is then highlight that link, click the chain link tool, and you can actually link it to your LinkedIn account or wherever wherever you'd like to link it to. Obviously, um, here, let's do change. And I do know this one by heart, HTTP, LinkedIn.com, IN, Kathy Sipple. A really good practice is to test the link before you click away just to make sure it really does work the way that it should. And it does. It takes it right to my LinkedIn profile. And so I'll just click OK, and that's it. I'd say, you know, go ahead and do that. It's a nice way to kind of passively invite people to connect with you via social media with every single email that you do. That's it for